All right, guys, so now I want to show you how to take that really basic spectrometer that we made in the last video and make it a little bit better. Okay, All we did was we took a little cardboard tube, we cut a little slit in one end of it, and then we cut a little angle and put it up next to uh, a CD or, in my case, a DVD. And then when you look through, you should be able to see little rainbows in there. Can you even see them? Yep. Kind of can see them in there. Sunlight's dying a little bit, but one of the problems is when you do this, there's lots of other places where sunlight can get in. So we want to try to block the light from getting in anywhere except for this little slit right here. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to tape this tube down. So you need tape. You also need either aluminum foil or some sort of uh, material that's dark and is not going to let light through, but can, uh, can be worked with. So I'm going to take a piece of tape. I'm going to put it on the one end of the tube. It works really well if you just push the tape down onto this cardboard tube first. So I'm going to put one on that pointy end. I'm going to put another one on the other end of the side that I cut. Press it down so it sticks to that cardboard really well. And then I want to try to line this up so that I can get uh, most of the CD to be within this tube here. Um, actually, sorry, I got to go this way with it. Okay. So I'm going to put it a little, tape's going to kind of touch the end here. The tip is almost right in the center of the CD hole. And then I've got the other end taped down here. Okay, so now this thing is nice and stable. I can look through it and I don't have to use my other hand to do anything. And I can see the rainbows in there. Then I'm going to take some aluminum foil and I'm going to try to close off all the other sources so the light can only get in through the one spot. So this is pretty big. I don't need it quite that wide. So I can just rip it or cut it. But really I want to try to almost take some shorter, longer strips and try to work it around the base. You can use the CD to hold it in place on the sides. And then I kind of covered so that no light can leak in um, through the bottom of this thing. I'm going to take another piece. I'm going to try to wrap it partially. I guess a piece of tape would be nice to hold that in place. Probably tape the bottom. All right, let's take another piece. Kind of wrap it around the tube. You can even tuck it in into the tube on top. So it'll hold it in place on the top of this thing. And then work it down the sides. You just got to be careful not to cover that slit in the front. So if I were to wrap this all the way around, I would cover that slit and the light wouldn't be able to get in. So I need to fold it a little bit. All right, so now I've kind of covered those ends. Let me tape it down. Fold that in a little bit. You can even, if you want, to make it stable, fold it all around on that opening where we look, and then just make sure to peel it back so you've got that slit that the light can get in through. Okay. Um, and then I'm seeing a lot leaking in through the bottom here, through that little hole. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the whole bottom with one big piece. That actually does a pretty good job of kind of holding everything together. All right, so it's kind of the spaceship spectrometer here. We've got our tube, got our little slit that the light can come in. And so now I'm gonna look through there. Uh, the other thing you have to do is make sure that no light gets in through the eyepiece where you're actually looking too. So I'm going to kind of hold my eye up to it a little bit. Okay, now I can see a really, really nice uh, rainbow spectrum from the sun. You can also kind of push a little bit and adjust the slit that we made, that little opening, make it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller in order to, to try to get um, a really nice, thin, little narrow slit that's going to let a narrow little beam of light. The 
the slit is too big, all the colors of the rainbow kind of wash together. Um, yeah, hopefully you can see. Yeah. A little rainbow inside of there. That's kind of what we're going for. All right. So you can play around with this. You could try to um, figure out different ways to, to block the light as, as well as you can. Again, for right now, oh, yeah. Definitely uh, holding my finger over here and kind of blocking the light. That's really doing a nice job. Let me see if I can get a picture with my phone. I'm actually getting almost like double diffraction there. So that's really what we're looking for. You want to kind of see something like that. And you can play around. There's a whole bunch of uh, different designs. I've made a whole bunch of these ones where I've put the slit on this end of the tube. And I put a little viewing hole on this end of the tube. So now I can kind of look through them like this and I can see my rainbow in there, even though it's coming through the slit here. I used a couple of pieces of aluminum foil folded down and taped together to make a kind of a little slit. I have another one here where I used uh, my school ID and a credit card, to kind of make that little opening on the end of the tube here. And then I've got a little opening to look through this way. That one works pretty well. Um, but I think it's really easiest if you um, just do something kind of like, like this. But again, the hard part is you got to block the light from coming in uh, where your eye is looking through it as well.